Hi everyone, and welcome to the bench. Well, today I'm going to tie you up the mayfly cripple. This pattern is really effective in imitating mayflies that are spent on the water and actually laying to one side. Make sure you have these materials ready before you try to tie this fly. For the hook, we're going to use a TMC 100, size 18 or 20. We'll use some 8 aught olive thread to tie with, some light dun hackle fibers for the tail, some light yellow dubbing for the body, we'll use a light dun CDC puff for the wing, and some light dun hackle for the hackle. Before we start to tie this fly, we're going to take the hook and actually put it in the vise, halfway down the shank, and bend it towards you. Bend it towards you in the vise so that it's got about a 45 degree angle bend about halfway through the length of the hook. I've tied my thread onto the bent hook, and what I've done is taken about eight strands of my hackle fibers. This is a light done hackle, and we're just going to measure it up about an eighth of an inch back from the, from the shank of the hook, and we're going to tie it in for a tail. I've taken some light yellow dubbing, and I'm just dubbing it on my thread. I'm going to take this now and just wind it forward, keeping my body nice and thin, and tapering it up about halfway up the hook, and just build up a nice dub body. I've taken a light done hackle, and we're going to tie it in by the butt, right where the dubbing ended. I've now taken a CDC puff, and these little puffs are really handy to tie in spent wings because they do flare out and they really make the fly float nice. And you can substitute in Zelon or any kind of other nice spent wing material, but I really like these CDC puffs. So we're just going to tie it in here where we just finished the hackle. And the big key here is tying it in sideways. You don't want that wing to stand upright, you want it to actually be sitting parallel to the water. So the wing is tied in, nice and spent and on the side. It's not sticking up on the hook. Remember, it's got to be parallel to the water, to the hook. So we're going to take our hackle now, hook up a good set of hackle pliers, take a few wraps behind our wing, just to build up a small hackle. And we're going to go in front of our wing and put a couple more hackle turns around there, just to give it that leg profile. There it is, the finished mayfly cripple. Looking at the footage today, those fish on the old man were very finicky, and I'm sure if I had some of these flies along with me, I would have done a lot better.